So hi everybody and welcome to this week's video of RBX Excel videos. This week I'm going to show you how to create a sunburst chart. And if you like the video, please give it a like and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of my videos. Please enjoy. So today I'm going to show you everything about a sunburst chart. And a sunburst chart um, basically visualizes different levels of detail in a table. And you see an example of a sunburst chart in here. You see it has three levels of detail. And it's uh, based on this table I have here. And you see there are three products, a chair, a table and a dresser. You see the region, Europe, America and Asia for each product. And the different regions have uh, colors of the chair, the table and the dresser. And um, all sales figures are in the last column, which belong to the different products. So the sunburst chart actually um, has smaller and bigger uh, parts according to the uh, number of sales in our table. So what I can see here is that the uh, largest part of my sales are coming from the chairs. You can see Europe has the largest sales of dressers uh, because it is the biggest part in my uh, part for the dresser. Um, I can show you how to uh, insert a sunburst chart and for that I'm going to delete this one. And the most easy way to insert a sunburst chart is to just select your whole table with data. You can include the headers. And to insert the sunburst chart, we are going to the insert top on my ribbon. Go to the hierarchy charts. Press down, you can choose the tree map or the sunburst. When we are going to choose the sunburst chart, just make it a little bit bigger. And you see we have our sunburst chart. Well, this was the easy way. Well, you can also manually insert a sunburst chart. And for that we are not selecting our table, but we are just going to the insert tab, go to the hierarchy charts and choose the sunburst. We can make it already some bigger. And to add your data manually, you can select your chart. This way it's enough. And we can right click and click select data. You see it already has a series one. We're going to remove that. And to add our data manually, we click add another series. The series name will be sales and the series values is only the column with the actual values. Well, this is not the chart we want to see. Um, we can click OK here. And to make it a real sunburst chart, we need to add our horizontal category axis labels. And for that, click Edit. And just select all three different categories. And you see, this is much more looking like our sunburst chart at the beginning. Just click OK. And you see only the data labels are missing. And to add them, you can select your chart, only your chart area, and you can click on the plus sign for the chart elements and you can check the data label box. So now you see our sunburst chart, which we had in the beginning, and that's the way you can manually add the data. Well, let's take a look at some formatting options in my sunburst chart. And to do that, we are going to select our chart, press console one to open the format chart area window. And what options do we have here? We can go with this little arrow to the chart area and we can, for example, select no line for a border. Um, we can also select our series sales. And here you have options for fill and border. Um, you see I have selected all my parts in my table. So when I'm going to say I want a solid fill, you see the whole chart 
is filled in the same color. So that's not what we want. So we're going to back to automatic. And when we select only one part of the sunburst chart, for this example, I selected the chairs section. I can see it's highlighted in my chart. And when I want to give the chairs section another color, I can do that now by clicking solid fill and I can select a color dark green light green and that way you can change the color for only one section of your sunburst chart you can see there are some white lines between the sections in my sunburst chart I can also select my chart again go to the series sales go to the fill and line and I can say I want a solid border. I can choose the color, for example, a black line. And I see my lines are black. You see there are data labels with only the name of the category. It's also possible to see the values in here. It's not always the best choice to show your values. While you already see there are some very small parts in my sunburst chart, and the value will not be shown because the box is just too small. But when you want to show your values in your data labels, you can just click your chart, go to the format menu, and go to the data labels. When you go to the label options, you see only the box before category name is checked. I can also check the box before value, and you see the values are shown but like I already said, some boxes are just too small and the value is not shown in the box. So it's not always a good choice to show your values. I can uncheck this box again and I can close my menu. I also want to show you what happens when you do not have all the detailed information for, let's say, every region. Let's say I only have the total sales for Asia and I don't know all the sales for the different colors so i can just delete these colors and i have also i have also to delete these values you see it's just left empty there's an empty part in my sunburst chart i can also delete these colors and uh, i can uh, delete these colors so you see there are just empty spaces in my chart. So this is what happens when you do not have all the information and data. It's still possible to make your sunburst chart. So that was my video about the sunburst chart. I hope you learned something from it and you can create your own sunburst chart. If you liked it, please like my video and please hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of my videos. Thanks for watching.